Hello, uh, Maurice Jones here from last season's production of Hamlet. Cast thy nightly color off, and let thine eye look like a friend on Denmark. Do not forever with thy veiled lids seek for thy noble father in the dust. Thou knowest his common, all that lives must die, passing through nature to eternity. Aye, madam, it is common. If it be, why seems it so particular with thee? Seems, madam, nay, it is, I know not seems. Tis not alone my inky cloak, good mother, nor customary suits of solemn black, no, nor the fruitful river in the eye, together with all forms, mood, shows of grief that can denote me truly. These indeed seem, for they are actions that a man might play. How do I play an iconic character and make him my own? And my answer is pretty simple and, and straightforward. I take a large cue from the character of Mark Antony in Julius Caesar, and whether you want to believe him or not, he calls himself a plain, blunt man. And that's really my way in, making these characters as plain and as blunt as I can. And I know that sounds like it's boring or uninteresting, but in doing so, I'm able to put the character on equal footing with the audience. If I hoist the character of Hamlet up on an arbitrary pedestal and hold him way preciously up here, you're never going to be able to crane your neck enough to take in that performance. But when I bring them down to earth a little bit more and I make them relatable and recognizable and simple and allow you as the audience to see yourself in this character and in these words and in this situation, you're going to walk away with a much deeper and richer understanding, not only of the play, but of who Hamlet is and what he's going through. And whether I succeeded in that or not is up to you to decide, but that's how I do it. You know, these words are beautiful. These stories are vast and large, and they've endured the test of time for very good reason. There is a truth to be told in any era of time, but it's best told when you as the audience member can really hook yourself in and place yourself in these circumstances. And you can do that by bringing yourself eye to eye with the audience in the telling of these stories. Make it plain and blunt and simple.